You're trying to teach them game, no. and it's not like we're trying to give them advice on okay, how to Okay, we're going to cut down. that out, baby. Okay, but I'm telling you so you can stop. Okay, I'm done. Because now done. you're making me look bad. Okay, I'm done. Oh, we're not. I'm talking to you. No, I think yeah. it's good. Right? No, it's, good it's not. It's good content. Babe, <laughs> you're going to get pissed me off, and I'm not going to want to vlog all fucking day long. exciting news coming up in the next couple days you guys so make sure not to miss it stay tuned we love y'all so much blue channel tv ah, i'm so excited welcome back luchi gang if you are new to this channel my name is kelly jean don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe don't forget to click the little bell that way you get notified when we post a new video today i am gonna have a sit down for my comadres featuring y'all's compadre lucky Lou. All right, what are we doing? So this is my guest for today, for Comadre Wednesday. Y'all know him as Lucky Luciano, the rapper, but I know him as Christian. And I decided that we needed to do a sit down on relationship advice. So, do you want to say anything before we get started? I'm not that good at relationships. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have my fair share of relationships, but I think the more relationships you have, the better you get at them. <laughs> and I think right now, Jesus Christ, hold on, <laughs> fellas, you just gotta let happy wife, happy life. You just gotta let your woman get what she wants. You know what I'm saying? You can't argue with a woman. You ain't gonna win. If Are you try, taking over my segment? Try, <laughs> I just said, did you want to say anything? That's what I want to say. Started? If you. Trying to argue with a woman, you ain't gonna win. So I just be like, okay, babe. And I go on about my business. Cause you can't win. Now listen, let me tell you something. Else. Let's start. Oh, let's let's work our way into it. We have to work our way into it. We're keeping it. on. This is good, right? Here. You gotta keep on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So like I said, we are giving y'all some relationship advice today. I wanted to hit a couple topics for both men and women. So what's the main thing? This is my question. My first question to you. And it's also for me. What is the main thing that you think that a relationship needs if it's going to work out? Uh, <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> it needs a lot of stuff. It's a bunch of components. No, number one. It's a bunch of components that go it together to make a relationship work. It ain't just one thing. I know, you could but have the main thing. One thing and be missing something else. Yeah. One thing. Okay, so well, the main thing at the very, very top. You gotta really love the person. You gotta love. If you love the person and the person loves you, that's the main thing. If you don't really, really love the person, you're not gonna be faithful to the person. You don't care about hurting the other person's feelings. You don't care about the the person's emotions because you don't love them. So you gotta have love. All right. My answer to that is trust. Because even, like, there's some days where, like, I mean, I love you always, but there's some days where we're just, like, not connected. But... Man, just, for real? We always got that. We was always connected. <laughs> what the hell? When did we get disconnected? But it's, like, like, whenever he needs his time and I need my time and we're just, like, just doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm at the house taking care of the kids and just relaxing, laying down, you know, and you have to go work. And if I did not trust him, this wouldn't work out. Like, our relationship would not work out. And it but goes see, both no, ways. No, that, uh, let me tell you something. Now, let me give you an example of her trusting me. She trusted me to go out into the world and do my job, do what I got to do. But if I didn't love her, I could take her trust for granted and be out doing shit I ain't supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? So even though there's trust, if you don't got love, 
the trust don't matter. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. If I trust you and you trust me, but then when we're around, we're not, you know what I'm saying? When we ain't with each other. All right, you got a point there. Love is the number one thing. Love is the number one thing. And then comes trust. And then comes trust. And then the <coughs> third thing that I think is like on top is compromising. You have to know how to compromise in your relationship in order for it to You gotta work. get freaky in a bedroom. Oh, God. Anyways, <laughs> compromising. Making sure that it's not just one-sided. It's not just a one-sided relationship. Like, you have to come to an agreement. Because we don't always agree. But because we're trying to do things the right way. Because we're trying to get along. And we're trying to work with each other. We have Houston's to compromise. Calling me. Should I bring him over here? Yeah. What's the matter, little boy? Y'all, side note, y'all have to excuse your compadre because oh. your compadre sometimes does not care and he has no filter. So, excuse him. He went to go get Houston because he was on the bed screaming for me. All right, I'm back. All right, so compromise. What do you have to say about compromise? Compromise? I feel like when you're in a real relationship, like a real marriage relationship, like when you're really living together and you're raising kids together, it's kind of hard. Um, I think that the men, we're just left with a big piece of chicken. That's all we get. Wait, right? what? We don't. We can't compromise. The women and the kids get everything. All we left with is the big piece of chicken. <laughs> That's all we get. Dads, y'all know. The real dads out there know. Is yeah. that really how you feel? Yeah, that's how we get. We get the big piece of chicken. You wrong. The dads feel me. <laughs> My compadres feel me. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't tripping. I ain't doing no complaining. You know what I'm saying? That's why I work for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I work for my familia so those are like the three things that i guess that we just came up with not that we just came up with but that's like the main three things that y'all need to work on in y'all's relationship so i wanted to get into our story okay because a lot of y'all know that we've been together or whatever and that there is an age difference like i am young and he is older than me but we are 14 years apart if y'all didn't know and a lot of times y'all don't get it y'all don't understand how it works or whatever but those are the three things like i don't even feel like you're 14 years older than me do you feel like i'm younger than you yeah <laughs> why how i just feel like you're younger than you guys be on the shot baby all right now what all right so a lot of y'all don't know but we are 14 years apart he is actually <laughs> He is actually way older than me, and what, what am I trying to say with this? I don't know. What are you trying to say? I'm old? What, what, what's your point here? Um, <laughs> Y'all want a relationship to work? Y'all got to be ready for oh, your woman to be asking you, who is that? Every time you get off the phone. Every time you get a text message, you got to be ready for your woman to be like, Why are you trying to make me look like I'm this controlling and possessive no, person? No, if, I'm just saying, if you don't want your woman to ask, don't be in a relationship. If you just want to be able to be on your phone and stand in business, you know what I'm saying, without your woman asking <laughs> who you're talking to, then don't be in a relationship. But if you're in a relationship, you got to be prepared for those types of questions. To share all your information. Yeah. Because I know when I'm texting or like whenever I get a text message and my phone goes ding, he goes, oh, babe, who texted us? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, damn, boy. Who texted us? <laughs> no, but it's little things like that that some people just can't handle. They get like so ag with the other person. Yeah, some people be like, damn, why are y'all in my business for? You know what I'm saying? But if you're going to be like, you're not prepared. You're not yeah, you're not ready. If you have that attitude, in my opinion, you're not ready to... Basically, be in a relationship. Yeah. Share your life with somebody. It was hard at the beginning because we had to like learn each other's ways and and then like we had a lot of people judge us. A lot of people thought like, oh, that's not gonna last, like, you know, and I don't know, those three things that we said, love, trust, and compromising have have brought us all the way through here. Not only that, we have had our you know, breakups and fights, and we've been through it, but... She always come back to daddy. You always call me crying. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no, we have had our fights and our like, you know, bad times, but we always knew that we had too much invested in this relationship. Like we are a blended family and nowadays there is so many blended families. But my thing is like if you have kids involved, like it's not even about y'all no more. Mind you, if it is a toxic relationship, yeah, you do need to get out of it because you're not the only one being affected. Your kids are too. But if you know that y'all can work things out and y'all can compromise with each other, y'all need to because, man, I don't see myself ever leaving him because of the kids. What do you have to say? And now we got a little Houston. And a little Lakeisha on the way. Oh my god. This man steady playing with me. So we're going to have a daughter and we're going to name her Lakeisha. No, after we're not. Lucky. No, we're not. He swears we're naming... If, if, if I have a girl, he swears we're naming her Lakeisha. And if it's a boy, Lucky. No. We did want to do this sit down and just talk to y'all about relationship advice. Also, type in the comments. I'm going to be responding to all y'all. Another, another thing I would say is make sure you live your life before trying to settle down and be in a relationship. Because if you ain't lived your life and you ain't ready to settle down and be in a relationship, you're just going to end up hurting your partner you're gonna end up cheating on your partner you're gonna end up just it's not gonna work you know what i'm saying so make sure you uh get all your festivities out of your system so that way you won't be hurting your partner acting like you're ready for a relationship and you're not ready for a relationship because being in a relationship is hard work you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's not easy and I know all my married couples out there know that, you know, being in a in a monogamous relationship is hard work. What does monogamous mean? I thought that was like freaky. Nah, that means like you're just with one person and one person only. You're waking up to the same old stanky breath every day. Baby, I love you. I love you when your breath stank. Boy, you, you the one with that grill. You the one that be having stanky breath. Monogamous. Hey. She looking on Google. Oh, okay, you're right. I always be saying words I've never heard before. You know what I'm saying, fellas? You want to get your woman to fall in love with you? Say a whole bunch of words that she never heard before. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah, you, you're, you're right. Because as young as I am, I did live my life. But if I wasn't... She got an early start. But if I wasn't ready... When he met me, I was at that point where I was really just trying to have a stable, steady, regular, schmegler life for both my daughter and me. And I was going to church, I was going to the gym, and that was just like, I was trying to stay out of the streets. And the reason why I changed was because because of Carla. If Carla wouldn't passed away and I didn't go through everything I went through whenever I had that loss, I probably would still be turning up right now. I probably <laughs> I probably would still be out here just throwing my life away. Honestly, not really caring about anything other than fun and money. So if you're not ready to settle down and you still want to be out here partying, turn then go up, party. Go, go party. Go do that. And don't be leading somebody. Yeah, don't lead into people. And pe some dudes think that's their way of running game by telling the girl, "Oh, I'm ready for a serious relationship and I want to settle down," but they really don't. They just <laughs> saying that. But the girl will respect you more and give you what you want if you just was straight up with her and told her. That I'm just trying to kick it for one night and I got to go. You know what I'm saying? Because she probably want the same thing too. But that's just advice from Uncle Luck. Side note. Did I just turn your your segment into something else? <laughs> yeah, you turned it into... See, I'm just saying. I feel like he's sitting there trying to teach y'all how to... Fix. No, I'm saying if you're trying to... If, we're cutting this out. No, we're not. Let me give you some advice. Babe, please. Fellas. I, no. cause, cause I know men do do this. Some guys, especially young men, do this. They'll tell the girl that they want to settle down, they want a long term relationship, and da 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 da, and they just trying to get the draws. In actuality, if they was just real and just been like, "Yo, I'm focused on my money right now. I really ain't got no time to settle down, or I ain't really trying to be in no relationship," but you know what I'm saying? We can kick it if you want to kick it. Then you know what I'm saying? You'll still. With the right approach and the correct opening, success is the reward. You know what I'm saying?
if that's what you wanted, if you just kept it real from the jump, you know what I'm saying? Instead of lying and playing with people's emotions. I, I My, what I'm that. trying to say is don't be playing with people's emotions. Don't yeah, be lying that. and just keep it real. But if you are, if you have lived your life and you're ready to settle down and you know what I'm saying, you've already done what you got to do and you got kids, then yeah, man, be real, man, and just stop, stop, little boy. <laughs> Just keep it real with your woman and women keep it real with your men because women is most scandalous than men. Y'all be the main ones cheating. What? Y'all do. I know you. Babe, don't even go there. Don't be calling my comadres out. It is comadre Wednesday. Don't even do that. You, y'all be the main ones getting drunk and shit on the weekend. Oh, well, it don't count if you was drunk. Babe, no, I don't want to listen to this. That's not advice. Just play. Stop. It. No. Ah. Just play. I'm trying to have a serious conversation Baby, with this. Okay, well, and you're just trying we to can teach cut me. it up. We're but gonna... no, because you keep on going. Okay, I'm done. Now, nah, what's up? You keep on going with just like learning. Oh, oh Houston, no, no, no. You're trying to teach them game. No. And it's not like we're trying to give them advice on okay, how to Okay, we're going to cut down. that out, baby. Okay, but I'm telling you so you can stop. Okay, I'm done. I'm now done. You're making me look bad. Okay, I'm done. Oh, we're not. I'm talking to you. No, I think yeah. it's good. Right? No, it's, good it's not. It's good content. Babe, <laughs> you yeah. make it piss me off, and I'm not gonna want to vlog all fucking. So I had to tell Lucky that he needs to turn down a little bit because he was going a little too in on this whole topic and he was like going totally left. Like she put me in timeout. We trying to uh, make y'all understand that walking a straight line is cool and it is. That's what I said. And it is the way to go. But once you start trying to say, oh, and if you're trying to do this, this how you got to do it. No, that's not what the point was. Okay, so. Basically, if you are not ready to settle down, make sure that you're not out here giving people. I think um, we need some curtains back here. Giving people false. Uh, what is it called? False hope. Yeah, false hope. Don't be sitting there trying to tell the girl, "Oh, I love you," when you know damn well you don't love her. Okay. Um, Lucky just threw me all the way off. Comadres, this is for y'all because look, I know a lot of my homegirls sometimes we suck on stupid and I just be like, girl, snap out of it. And it, it goes to show how men think just what he just spilled. I like, thought you were going to cut that off. Well, we not. Now you got me heated. So girls, for real, comadres, like don't be dumb. If the man is cheating on you, if he's putting you through hell and back, you ain't got no time for that. T just... I know it's gonna hurt for a couple of days, probably a week or two, but you will be all right. Like, just move on because I promise you there's something better out there for you. You, like, as a woman, don't ever put up with abuse, don't ever put up with infidelity, and don't ever put up with disrespect. So, again, relationship advice. Back to our topic. A lot of y'all ask me, like, how. How do you do it dealing with a rapper, like somebody in the in the entertainment business? Which it is, it, it is kind of hard. But it's different because I'm not a rapper like a like a new rapper that's trying to get my name out there and has to be out there in the mix. You know what I'm saying? So it probably wouldn't have worked if I was like back in the day. But I'm already like past that part in my career where I can just chill and I don't have to be out there in the mix like that. But it is hard sometimes because he still has to go work sometimes. And at the beginning, it was kind of like they do come with a lot of baggage. Whether it's past relationships, whether it's kids, whether it's like scandal in the media, whether it's whatever it is. Yeah, I got no scandal in the media. Sure. <laughs> you know, so uh, it was, I was kind of iffy at first about it because I, that's what I was trying to get away from. Like when, when we met, I, like I just told y'all, I was in church trying to live like a regular schmegler life. And then he just popped up in my life and started saying the right things. Started seeing, you know, like, okay, he's trying, he's pursuing me. And it was just kind of like, all right, I'm gonna give it a chance. And here we are three years later. So I'm glad I took that chance. I'm glad I took that risk because um, we had, a, you know, we've grown so much since then. It's gonna be hard regardless. 
and it's never going to be easy to be in a relationship whether he's working a regular job whether he's uh, a business owner whether he travels and doesn't come home but every two weeks whether he's a rapper or whatever the situation is y'all just really have to be committed anyways we're gonna wrap this up right here this little segment right here i just wanted to let y'all know that y'all both have to be committed you have to trust one another y'all have to love one another there has to be genuine love commitment trust and compromise lucky's like main like subject right now on this whole conversation is if you want to be a hoe go out and be a hoe <laughs> But if you try to be real, and, you know what I'm saying, and be uh, settle down and be family, then do that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you, you can't be playing both sides of the fence. You know what I'm saying? You got to be either one, two feet on this side or two feet on this side. You can't have one foot in the game and we're trying to have one foot in your household because that ain't going to work. Preach, baby. Preach. And ladies, if you are putting up with just one foot in and one foot out, I'm telling y'all right now, stop being a pen deja. All right, so the compadre came back in the shop. To do some birthday shout outs, M. Shout out to Servando and Karina want to give a birthday shootout to their one year old, <laughs> to their baby turning one years old today. I don't know your baby's name, but happy birthday to your baby. And another happy birthday shout out to the baby girl Evelyn turning 17 years old. And another shout out to Abigail Avalos turning 22, turning 22 from, from Plano, Plano, Texas. Texas. <laughs> and one more shout out goes to. I, I hate when y'all be telling me yeah, it's your birthday, but y'all don't give me your name. How am I supposed to give you a shout out? You don't I have a name. shout out. Another birthday shout out to baby girl Armani Hernandez turning eight years old today. Another birthday shout out to baby boy Duran Mendiola. And a birthday shout out to Ivan Meza turning 25 years old. Happy birthday to you. And that concludes our birthday shout outs for today. Don't forget to go to luchigang.com and enter to win a dinner with the Luciano fams. You can win $100 on Friday. Houston, be quiet. You can win some free merch. Go to luchigang.com. All right, like Lucky was saying, don't forget to go to luchigang.com. Um, we kind of been switching it up simply because we are learning our way through it and y'all can go check out all that information Also, I had a couple people asking me about the fan mail address It is always in the description right next to the title There's a little arrow that drops down and gives you the address So if y'all want to, you know, feel free but that is going to conclude today's video. We love y'all so much. Make sure you stay positive. Make sure that you keep on shining bright. Even if your shine hurts some people, they better go and get some shades because don't ever dim your light for nobody. You heard. Love you. Mm -hmm.